On stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant, baking the best Easter buns since 1949. Visit goldencrust.com to order online for pickup or delivery today. For heavy hitting cross genre, it's gonna be alright. International collaboration. Sean Paul's latest project is his most local, most collaborative ever. Why mankind can't see that? But who would have thought? Come here now, girl. That when he broke into the international mainstream at the turn of the new millennium, his stay in that space would span win it, win it. It some 20 years. Tell them say I don't the Dutty Cup DJ will be here to chat that project and reflect on his epic achievements in music. Even with all the challenges posed by COVID crisis, King of Kingston, Bounty Warlord Killer, continues his charity to those in distress. It's a good day today. Six, we know, is real and has been around for over four years now. Can't get me on. But why are we just only now meeting Bobby Six? The foundation member will be right here on our stage to tell us. And in our Who Is segment this week, the new artist known as Coyote. But what does Idonia have to do with his rise? All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. Even with all the challenges posed by the COVID crisis, King of Kingston DJ, Bounty Warlord Killer, is still continuing his outreach to the less fortunate. Porous Primary School and we are making another presentation on the behalf of the Bounty Foundation just trying to enrich a few smiles and each one teach one to reach one you know that's one of my motto so we are just here doing the week here and we share as it has came to the attention of the foundation the needs of these disabled citizens needed these wheelchairs and the caregivers from the foundation, they, they, they allocated some funds and they accessed the wheelchairs. And we decided that we're gonna come and make the presentation today. As you know, weekend is a crucial lockdown coming up, you know? And then as you see, they can't even move around already. So it's a double lockdown, you understand? They are from this community and Bounty Foundation is for Jamaica. It's not for any special community. I never make the foundation for my community. I make it for the communities and people reach out to us from all over the island and then the one with the most needs they are the one who we most tend to so today we, we are presenting the three wheelchairs to the three citizens and we are also giving them fifty thousand dollar cash service ticket each to aid with their medication so on the behalf of the bounty foundation this is a fifty thousand dollar cash service ticket <laughs> You're welcome. $50,000 cash service ticket, mommy. Oh, yeah, man, but it's in your hand. Hold on to that, all right, mommy? Respect. Much love. You're welcome. And grandfather, this is yours. $50,000 cash service ticket from Bounty Foundation. Wow, $50,000? Yes. Thank you. To assist with your medication. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, you're welcome, and God goes with you. All right. Blessing, blessing, blessing. Yes. Yeah. The breath still blowing. Oh, yes. Thank yes. God for that. For me, because that is uh, still on and lean back and the breath gone. Mm -hmm. But the Lord not ready for the breath yet. I still I give thanks to who remember me and who will bring something for me and who will touch them hand to me. Mm -hmm. Give God thanks. I have a firm belief in the name of the Lord. For anything the Lord do, will well done. So I believe in the Lord and I believe that who come, them not just come dry hands so the Lord pile at them. Mm -hmm. So I just feel all right. And God bless them. God bless the giver and God bless the sender. So how are you feeling today? Well, thank Jehovah that I am not bad. Mm -hmm. Jehovah protect me, guide me. Yes. So I give him all thanks. Uh, are you able to see? No. So you're also, you're not able to walk and not able to see too? Yes, I can if I get somebody help me. Mm -hmm. I will walk. Okay. Okay, so you're not completely unable to walk? No. Okay, so talk to me about uh, th this gift that you're about to get. You know, it's a chair. Um, how do you feel about it? Do you think it will bring some relief to you? Anything is possible where Jehovah is concerned. Yeah, man, and big up Mr. Bunty, you know. Respect and thanks for what you do for the community and the old people, them. And our respect. God bless you upon your life, sir. Mr. Bunty, big again. Thank you very much, Mr. Bunty Killer, for everything that you have donated to us. And we are very grateful for it. So continue to do your journey. Big up the boss. It's the foundation thing. I I tell you, I hope God keep and guide him right through for many, many more people. One love, my brother. Big up. Mr. Bunty. Yes, mommy. I'm Good right. night. Good night. Good evening. night are you doing? So we are saying one of them. Good day, your mama. You know, I want to hear the name. Sure. But I don't know the person by face. Yeah. And I, I get a dream one, one morning. I can't say a night for yeah. every morning. And I get somewhere. But I come in from a church. Yeah. And when I come in, out the church, I see him, two doves, come and pitch on my head. Yeah? Yes, and <laughs> one of them say, one of them say, you don't know what is this one name? I said, no, I don't know none of them. He said, this one name, Mr. Bounty. <laughs> And I hope, I hope you carry him. It's a good sign. Yeah. And, 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 it's your dog. It's and I hope you carry him with you. <laughs> I'm right here with you, man. I hope you carry him with you. And I said, I'm going to go carry him. I don't know him. He said, carry him with you. And as he said, carry him with you. One of the dogs fly up off of my hand. <laughs> off of my head. Yeah. And go the direction. And I know me not see we did that one turn. <laughs> But you see me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Living. You know, that's a great story. Anything with a dove is always yeah, blessing. Yeah. yeah, mama. All right, there you have him in charity. King of Kingston DJ, Bounty Warlord Killer. Stay with us right here on stage. Next, the new artist known as Coyote. But what does Idonia have to do with his rise? Six, we know, is real and has been around for over four years now. But why are we just only now meeting Bobby Six? The foundation member will be right here on our stage to tell us. And later, Sean Paul, like you've never heard him before.
On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant, baking the best Easter buns since 1949. Visit goldencrust.com to order online for pickup or delivery today. In our Who Is segment this week, the artist known as Coyote. But what does Idonia have to do with his rise? Right now, right here on stage, Coyote. Yes, sir. Well, go on, Papa. Blessed love, man. Much respect. Cool, my It's honor to be here, you know. Yes, sir. So, answer that question first for us. Well, Idonia, now. I don't know, in every team, in every organization, you have a leader. You see, it? we lead out and, 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 and for you as an up forward, you want them to follow. You see me? So, I don't know, the one you know, we lead out and push the thing on the road, come up on the stage, show them, you see, it? Mm -hmm. set me up with a couple, couple of the big names with them. You see, it? so we, we can get a wider scale ears, you see. It? Yeah, man, so big up, I don't know, you see. It? So, you're, but you're not a member of Fort Gen? Yeah, man, I'm a member of Fort Gen, man. Oh, pull okay. foot. Okay, I see. So you have something to do with your grooming and your direction and thing. And yeah, thing. man. Yeah, man. On and off the ear. Okay. Yeah. So speak to me then about where are you exactly now? What have you done already? Well, I've, I've achieved one of my short-term goals thus far. That is finding a song to, to be the breakthrough. You see it? Yes. Because you know, say that that, that are the main objective as first as an artist when I have a name it. Mm -hmm. Then the second one will be like for a final follow-up. But that I'm a short-term goal I'm achieved so far, is it? To find a song where people are looking to, you know, uh, and see what we are dealing with, is it? All right, so let's go to it then, since you bring it up. When me nice and summer go on, when me nice and summer go on, then in my brain, because she's not from the shoes, me is a family, baby. All right, so that's the song. <laughs> when me nice, <laughs> says Coyote, right here on our stage. <laughs> So when you're nice, I say you're going, bitch. 100. <laughs> okay, so you know, you have a lot of distraction there. People are asking us now, I can just imagine. What's that? that a, a, a vest? A, a bulletproof vest? Mm -hmm. right? A bulletproof, man. It is? Yeah, because you don't know at times like these, you can't be just a shoddy, you know. Really? Okay, and so yeah, is that legal to wear? No, bro, I top you, man, you know, we just live our feel for please. Yes. You see, the whole feel, I just so live, so if I... If what me know, if it if it are entangled with the law, I don't know. I do the right thing still, but until me see an officer start me and tell me take it off, me I beat it. So you were telling us about your journey so far. Yeah. And that you find the song. Yeah. But is this is this the only song you have now? No, sir. Okay. This you find a, this song. Yeah, this song. The breakout song. Yeah, the first one. So tell us about what's lurking. Well, we have a whole heap, whole heap of new things I found. Right now, I'm so anxious to drop them. I'm like, my manager, and you don't know, my managing team, I tell me, see, oh, you have to just calm and you see it. Because right now, I want the people to make them no. The, the <laughs> no. <laughs> your, manager, your management have to rein you in. <laughs> yeah, I say, oh, that's easy, man. You don't know what time to do everything. Oh, it? yes, man. You yeah, must have a little patience. You talk to me and the studio alone, and you pass my voice. Same. Yeah, but I don't know why you sang a two kills song. When me nice, yes. reach even a million views. You see me, cause they're so close right now. I said, Queen has my blink, so 100,000 views. Blink again. You see it? So, I saw you reach a million views, and the rest of the bomb them just diffuse and send out. You see it? Yes. Yep. So, have you studied the business and see for yourself where you would like to go based on what you've seen? And you can, and have you been able to pick up some of the the missteps that some of your predecessors yes, have made and so on. Well, honestly, I feel like I study nothing else like the music business, you see me? Probably you can call me a truant at school, yes, but nothing like the music business, you see it? Yes. Every, every mistake we are artists make, every writing we are artists do, you see? You see it? Because I don't have the goal in my brain from D1, when I want, you see it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, I can be one of them artists who just fall out and sing one song, when I'm nice, or the next song after that, I hear you say, I hear you say, I that 10, 20 years, so I'm no man, but still a rain. You see it all in a joke, me a rain. Okay, so what are some of the differences you are going to make? What are some of the differences? What are some of the things you are doing differently? All right, then. Some of them, man, yeah, do song like them feel like, say, yo, people are going like this, or people... You see me like you know, be a true self. You see it right now. I want to make somebody difficult. Come here, a whole heap of complaint in a road. I say, oh, right now, come like the quality of dance, all a drop. You see it, which in 
I don't really too agree with that because I don't know me now the young artist say my pre you know, cause it, it's like a trap vibe. The thing they are now still, you see it. So the mafia, he must have one make them better. But at the end of the day, members have to respond to the whole Jamaica. Come to the hell of them. Want to the look of you, they want to the people to understand that. That's why we sing one minute. Can even even you while it's a chap, can really tweet it. It's like that, that's why we do an early song, you see it. Okay. Therefore, that's why it'll give me the road, you see me? So you have that understanding already? Oh god, yeah, we have the understanding, man, because I was a fan of the music before we turn an artist, you see it. What about the end music? The, the the production? Yeah. The management, the yeah. discipline. Yeah. And all of that. Are you on to that? Everything. Everything. Right Discipline now. lacking in a Reggie. Oh gosh, man. I mean, if you tell you, right now I'm focus more than in camera view, man, right now, man. <laughs> no joke, man. Well, that's good to know. Hungry feet, you see? It? Yes. Hungry feet, man, in the food. You see, I'm not too, I want to elaborate on what I plan for do. Yes. And then bag of sitting. I'm just want the people, I'm just tuning in to me. You see, listen to my song, then watch my video, then I'm a vivo. I saw you're going to know me. All right, so talk about your roots. Where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Kingston 8, Big Yard, Morning yes. Hill Road. You see, we got the whole Kingston 8. Yeah, Poopa. Mm -hmm. Saying, and, and your journey in school and so on? Yeah, well, all right. We got a couple of primary school because so indiscipline back then. You see, we get kicked out of certain school and anything. But we go to high school, we go to Kingston College. Then in a food farm, we leave and go. Excel says so it. Mm -hmm. Football purposes, you see me? Money cup come out of the ball at you. Know. Same? Yeah. So at what point did you switch? Well, me, me really did that. Me really did that balance it still. But being that a football, I started out to play first because I grew up in a football family, you see it. Same. But a while me I do the football, the love for music grew, you see it. Because my lane, I'm leave big yard, whole heap of artists pass through and them things, you see it. So you know, we are grew up around them, surroundings, and just get enthused by everything, you see it. So it's music full time now? Full time. You never try to be anything as in terms of a career. All right. You know, so I'm not really have no limitation to what me can do still. But yeah. right now, I must want to reach now in my music. Yet, so I have to have the music every focus. You see, but I don't know as time go by. Who can tell? Probably I turn a pilot tomorrow. <laughs> you see, come all is a fly, you know. You see. <laughs> yep. So, so, but you, you sound, but the way you sound about music is like a. a you're so dedicated, so focused, you say. You can't, you can't, you can't, can't flap it up. So focused, that's all I give me. I you are serious it. about the focus and the passion yeah. and the, the discipline, yeah. which me always doubt it when man say, yeah, me have that. Yeah. Now, wait, that's all that's lacking among your, your generation, you know. What you discipline. refer to as discipline? Discipline is the understanding yeah. that you have to rein in yourself. Yeah. You sleep when you sleep. Yeah. Look after your family. Yeah. Be there on time. Don't this no man. Just be, be in control of self Gee. and direction. But first of all, you must know your direction, yeah. where you want to go, Gee. and what it takes to go there. Because that's not hard to know, you know. Mm -hmm. You just have to look on the legend, them like I am Sean, who's there on the show this week. They will tell you, in no uncertain terms, how to get there. But it takes discipline now to reach. Nothing is that simple. And why a man get Flustered with girls and, and hype life and what have you, True. and lost it. True. And can't find it back. True. That's why some man drop out, you know. True, that's why I, I, you know that. I do my homework. I was a fan of the music before, I'm ah. learning everything is it. Well, football should I teach you some too. Football is a good um, yeah. foundation to have, you know. To really play ball, you have to have some discipline. Right? Holy but discipline. we don't know why you drop out still. But <laughs> Unfit, man, the ganja. Unfit. Yeah. <laughs> So, who were some of the people around you in your upbringing? Well, I grew up in a nuclear family, you know, consists of mother, my father, mm -hmm. and my sister, you see. So, it's like the children them, play them, play them, them own role, you see. I had a very disciplined father who believed in nothing about discipline, you see. <laughs> okay. Things that he could even agree. No, you know how I credit the man earlier. With <laughs> in a in I, so, it's in you. It's in you to be a disciplined person. Yes. I'm going to leave some of this, but I must ask you before you go in. About life performance. Yeah. Saying, are you good at that? Is that important to you? Very important. Right now, I just, that's one of the reasons why I want the road to open up. Okay. Is it? Right? I, I wasn't the best in the preliminary stages, but as time grew, I grew. Is it? Yes. So you know that that is big. That is what is lacking in your generation. Yes, yeah, that's dominant in music. Your generation don't know how to do it good. Yes. Saying, and, and that's where a dancehall artist is going to make some money first and foremost. True. On a stage, going on tour, maybe even in the diaspora, go all the money. True. And in the Caribbean and so on, until you blow up now in, with recordings and go further afield. Yeah. 
but initially you you'll have to perform your way into into having resources financial resources brother yeah so it, it's important that you learn that and nobody ignore it and say just me, me just a lyricist enough man full of lyrics and can't deliver Street. and your copyright and those things you're on top of that you understand that part yes man and you gotta own up your things and do what you need to do to register properly and all that yes man now break one break this thing you know we want to change the, the new youth them into more advanced and international just, yeah. and international and ready artists yeah for real so i think you know expansion in in, in, in that era there Yes. That's going to be really significant because I don't know some of them. So, some, some man just have a, have, a, have a local aim, is it? The thing can't happen so because I remember say, oh, if I just a local aim, I have brother. The song now go past the airport, brother. Oh, I fly. I never fly from the day, I'm a band. So, you see, so we have to look ahead of us, though. Okay. Yep. We're going to leave it there and hope that people check you out and they are not disappointed in what they find when they do so. In terms yeah. of music and in terms of who you are, my friend. It's cheap. Yes, sir. Well, there you have him in this segment, the man, Coyote. And there's still to come right here on our stage. No, no, I said fully six, I'm sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Bobby Six, founding member of Six. And later, Dutty Yang. Dutty Cop DJ, Sean Paul. You don't want to miss that. We'll be back. On Stage with Winford Williams. On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant, baking the best Easter buns since 1949. Visit goldencrust.com to order online for pickup or delivery today. Six, we know is real. Six out here, you know we run prof. And has been around for over four years. Yes. And if you're not say six, no girl don't want you. But why are we only now meeting a foundation member of six? Some say six, but no know the yard. Known as Bobby Six. Six so dear, we have no friends. Bobby Six, right now, right here on our stage, and I'm telling you the truth. I'm only now meeting Bobby Six. Bobby Six, welcome, sir. Yeah, man. Good to meet you. Yeah. Well, take it away and tell us why are we only now meeting you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still and still. I've been an underground for a while. I never really take the music serious, but I've been a show about music. Yeah. You see me? But I think last year, I take it up on me say, you know, I do the right thing, you know? Yes. Start to expose myself more. So were you getting props from your bridging them around you? That you yeah, should man. be everybody, out front performing? Yeah, man. Everybody had tell me some if you do music a long time, you know. I learned me never start. But them just tell me say do it. Cause them see it. So you were shy or what? And I say shy, you know, but me never feel music. I did yes. actually my part, but me used to DJ and me a younger youth, but you know. I know me have it in me, but I never really like the crowd and the light and the camera and all them sound, you know. <laughs> well, that's what we call shy, my friend. That's why I'm saying maybe you, maybe you were too shy for it. So now you change. So when did you decide that, well, I'm not going to do it, you know? You, you took someone's advice or you did it on your own? Yeah, man, you know, automatic uh, swagger. Yeah. You know, automatic swagger records. Golly six, you know, them, they're my little dog. We always run, me see me squash. Okay. Bridging them same way, but I want circle, you know. So they they um they motivated you to take it up yeah, man. after all. So you, you throw in the towel and say, alright. Yeah, Bobby Six out yeah. there. So come me drop dirty money first, son. Dirty money, dirty money, dirty money. Six them real and I never know funny. First song is dirty yeah, money. Man. Yeah man. See it? Yeah, I don't... Man. You know that about a year and now and some month. Mm -hmm. You know, but me have other. So it's sort of set the road, stage you know. for you now. Yes. Yeah, man. But me have other song where I mash up the place. No, you know. Yes. Yeah, man. So now is your moment to feel. Yeah, man. All right. So let's go to let's go to a mash up of your music. All right. Make money and God bless the music of Bobby Six. 
coming out of the shadows. <laughs> so, Bobby, I said so that's them thing I go and go, they say. Yeah, man. Okay, so those tracks are part of a wider project, which is yeah. your EP. Who's on it? What's yeah, on man. it? God bless you, EP. You know, we have Sherwin Winchester yeah. from Trinidad. Oh, you yes, do? Yeah, nice. that go be great. And we have one with Daddy One and Franco Wildlife. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, I said, oh, no, Winford, yeah, man, it dropped 25th of March, you know? Yes. Yeah, man, it's a bang up the road right now, man. <laughs> no joke. Well, I'm sure they've now, your fans and, and, and others who you're winning over are, are out now searching yeah. to hear what, what's, what's loaded on it. Yeah. Okay, so what can you tell us then about the six? Where are the other members? What are they doing in this COVID time? What are they doing? Right. Squash, yeah. squash that farin. Yeah. That was his, his, his fine. We see him on the internet. A good man. Much power to him and long life. And the, and the rest yeah, of the six. Daddy won them and thing. Yeah, man, they might do good, man. Yeah. Have us out there, work hard too. Mm -hmm. I run, I run a, a label now. <laughs> yeah, one law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so go back to your roots. You were yeah. born in Mobe? Yeah, man, born and raised in Mobe. Yes. So, Spring Mission Corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your family, the family around you? My family, mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, man, I have a baby mother. I live with him. Your you. own family? Yeah, man, my own family. And the one you grew up with? Uh, they, them, them, they are them yard, and, you know? <laughs> yeah, be, me yeah. I, wrote, I do the right thing. You graduate from yard? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sir. So when you joined the six, what, were, what was your role initially uh, before the bus out? Uh, I no, don't no, put that as no role. I, I just six. I'm big brother, you know. I'm a real blood, you know. So, you know, say anything, anywhere I go. I go, I go did it. You're rolling with him? Yeah, man. So, I never like saying, no, no, part, man. Just. But him never said, yeah. but him should have forced you to produce you. Him should have said, studio youth, wall mic, and listen to me. Yeah, man. Did he do that? Yeah, man. He's a, he's a bro, man. He tell me, say, do the right thing, man. But he's a youth, you know, just. You see me? You just okay, now I appreciate you. You see me? And just know what you want. You have to know what you want. And tell you a thing, you don't go too tall. See? You see me? Yeah, man. All right. And school, how far did you go? Uh, I never get too far in a school, you know, I tell you. Mm. Yeah, man. I never get to go to high school. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh. Because I'm brother them drop. You see me? Mm. Year after year, so you know what I say? I'm the last place I go out. Brother oh. G man dropped so many of you go back to school again. Can you know the How many brothers you lost? Four. Four? Mm -hmm. To gun violence? Uh, so three alone. Three to gun violence? Yeah, one at sickness and dead. Oh my God. I never know that one they do, you know. And then burden they are carry as a, a young man youth? No, Joe. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is that reflected in your music though? Yeah, man. My life, my sing both in every little thing, you know. Yes. Reality, man. That was part of why you were so shy to get into music, right? To go public? Yeah, I mean, I really like the, the light. And I say, I'm shy still, you know, but I just don't like the light and the camera thing, you know. I mean, it's, it's just different. You know, you have some people just different. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, man. My G, man. No okay. joke. Are you the same when you're in studio recording? Do you come to life when you're recording in studio with just you and producer and engineer and so? Mm-hmm. Them things that may happen, man. May I tell them? Yes. Yeah, man. Them days when we can do for enjoy ourselves, because you know, say so road dangerous, you can't really go road, you know? Yes. Like, sure, we go enjoy ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. But we're good otherwise, man. We make ourselves happy, you know? Well, my friend, you know, life. Choose life, my friend, life. Mm -hmm. And if you choose life, say you want to live and look, and look at life and say to you, life over death, you will yeah, make man. the right decisions going forward. Yeah, and that's man. all you need. And that's the thing they know in for, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing they can, you know, say, we lose a lot, so. Yes. We can't young afford man, to yes. lose no more, see me. So we just have to keep your life as we are, see me? Yeah. Yeah, man. A straight God, we think, man. Well, you're poised, you know, man, you know. you're poised in terms of economic opportunities. It's around you because your yeah. brother is a big producer. Yeah, man. You're in the middle of a group known as Six. Yeah. Saying, so you're a brand already and opportunities are around you. So it's up to you now to exploit them and to, mm -hmm. to change your life. With all the, tr the tragedy, yeah. you can, my friend, 
still, you still have time to live and enjoy life and, and save lives too. Yeah, man. So, so make those, some of those your mission, I hope. And, um, and go forward. And we look forward to when you come back, come talk to you now. Yeah, man. And we want to hear you winning you. Choose life. Every time. See? No, I just, yeah, man. Blessed love. No, I just. Well, there you have him right here in his segment. The man, Bobby Six. And we wish him so much, so much wellness, so much wealth and prosperity in going through life. And uh, stay with us right here on our stage, still to come. SP. Yo, yo. Sean Dirty Cup Paul. We'll be back. On Stage is brought to you in part by Golden Crust Caribbean Restaurant, baking the best Easter buns since 1949. Visit goldencrust.com to order online for pickup or delivery today. Who would have thought that when Sean Paul broke into the international mainstream blazing, blazing. at the turn of the new millennium, his stay in that space would span some 20 years. Tell them say I don't well, that's actually what happened. Well, I don't really care what people say. And uh, to my mind, if that doesn't make the Dirty Cup DJ an international dancehall legend, I don't know what would. Could I be your protector, your buff in every sector? Known for heavy hitting cross genre collaborations. Come on, girl, tell me how you feel. The DJ's latest project is his most local, most collaborative project ever. Sixteen tracks featuring some of the hottest names in dancehall. Right now, right here on our stage, the man himself, Dutty DJ Sean Paul. Dutty Cup DJ Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed love, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations, sir. Respect. Give one big one time. for all your achievements. Come yeah, on, give thanks. Give thanks. Live Living. Live and Living. Yes, Live sir. and Living. That's yeah, the man. name of the album, the new album. Come yeah, on. Um, what inspired it? The five months, the, f the five months of me sitting down after the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. and and it's like, boy, you can't go tour no more. So, studio time, because I say studio or, you know, mm -hmm. stage show is my favorite part of the biz. So, um, also, over the years, speaking with people like Junior Gang or Buju Bantan or uh, Shaggy, you know, the, in the conversation, it always came up. Even with Baby Sham, you know, we're not doing enough collabs as a, as a genre. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, back in the days, like, um, yeah, but we're all touring. Sometimes I come home and I would try to call a busy and in their Timbuk 2 and me, their Timbuk 3 and ah. the, the kind of schedule. And, you know, when you come back home, you just kind of, especially from a hard, long tour, people don't think it's hard, but it's hard. <laughs> I sleep, you know, they say, oh, yeah. you know, we have the bug that we're touring with. With, a, with all of your clothes in night for three months, and you have to live on the road, washing these clothes, like making sure you look fresh to the, to the audience, and uh, the, the amount of traveling, the, le the, the least amount of sleep. So when you come home, sometimes you knock out for all a week, you know what I'm saying? And, and then when you do wake up from that slumber, you're going back to the studio. So it was hard to really put together a project like this, and this, the pandemic kind of gave me the space and time to do that. Um, more studio time and everybody's here, you know, and yeah, good little vibes. Yes. So, <laughs> wow, it's, this is a big deal, Sean. I don't even know if people understand where I'm It's 22 collaborators yeah. on this album. Yeah. Uh, well, 21 artists. One of the biggest names in dancehall. Yeah. 21 artists and myself. Reason being, uh, you know, as I said, that, that, that idea is planted in my head from those conversations, but also, uh, I'm a fan of people like Massacre. Mm -hmm. I think he's a dope lyricist, busy signal too. Yes. Um, you know, people like Bujabant is a hero to me, mm -hmm. a left side to me. Everybody I've worked with on this album. Skilly Bang. Yeah, I revere their style. I revere, I, I rate their work ethic. I, I, I um, have a appreciation for their determination. So like, you know, Demarco is a producer on the album. He's a great artist, a great producer, great engineer. 
So is left side, great artist, great producer, great, great engineer. So is Sirani, great artist, great producer, great engineer. So is Squash, a great artist, a great producer, a great engineer in their own right. And so I, I kind of tired of, um, you know, saying that dancehall is changed because it must change. Um, Chuck, Berry, Chuck, Chuck Berry rock music don't sound like Kirk Cobain rock music. Mm. It's two different something, although it's rock. It's under the, the umbrella of rock. So you have to know, time passes, and you have to give accolades to, to the, the more established artists, but also to the younger ones coming up. I mean, they remind me of myself when I was doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, spitting these rhymes and doing it by the faith, as, as I said, with the gimme the light, and, 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 and getting a whole generation of Jamaicans to to log on to what they're doing, enjoy the stuff that they're doing. Yeah, so big up to Intense, Massacre, Skilly Bang on the album as the younger contingent people like Governor is on the album mm -hmm. too. For me, dancehall is one thing, even though there are different time periods. And so for, for, um, for, the, for the fact that I have so much different time period artists on there, it's kind of showing a unity. And to me, unity is the best community for dancehall. It's right? a good look. I love respect, it. Respect. It's a great look. And when a, when a legend like you, sir, and I'm calling Sean Ball a legend, <laughs> okay? That. This guy is yeah. a legend, whether you like it or not. Anyone can take me on on that. I'm saying he's <laughs> a legend. And when a legend lends his brand to the youths and to, and to the space, mm -hmm. okay? A fledging space, albeit because right now, we're in terms of income, when we look at who's streaming the most, you're way up there. Mm -hmm. Maybe number one, I think. You think you're at the top of it when yeah. we looked at it, um, Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Spotify and is a benchmark. So it's a benchmark, yeah. yeah. And, and so when you lending yourself, your, your art, your brand to, to collaboration, collaborative efforts at home like this, Brett, mm -hmm. we can ask for more. So a legend thing them there. Appreciate but it. what we want to do now, we have something queued up. From the album, yeah. which one do you give it? Uh, <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, so uh, one of the bigger statement songs on the album, the album have feel good music and dance, uh, like dance all uh, anthems that I usually do. You know what I mean? Party music, tracks about ladies and these things. But also there's a very, um, what you can call, thoughtful side of it or more conscious side of the album uh, is a song called Guns and Avaron. <laughs> it features myself. The great Muta Baruka, uh, and a, a, a great artist in Jesse Royal. And we've remixed it now on the album because we actually released it as an early single. Yes. And we put Stone Boy on it. So uh, this tune is to kind of combat the, the, violence that's, the violence that's going on in the society and to kind of show you know, the younger youths, the younger producers, younger entertainers, and just younger listeners that that's not the only option that they have because I find that a lot of youths in Jamaica think that that is their option in life. Let's take it right here. Tell them I run out with full clips so them gun nasty cap is like guns of Navarone. Wow. Yes. <laughs> guns of Navarone. <laughs> That's the title of that one. One of 16 tracks on this album by Dirty Cup DJ Sean Paul. The legendary international dancehall recording star, Sean Paul. Sir, <laughs> wow, isn't this the biggest collaborative work ever in the history of Jamaica? Jamaica's uh, dancehall music? <laughs> 22 uh, artists on this yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tell the truth, in that respect, probably. I don't think we've ever heard probably, an album or probably. seen an album with, with so many people collaborating. Probably. Um, you know, and I reach out to, to more artists, and we have other songs billing, but I just thought at 16, I mean, it was a lot <laughs> for right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, you need so. to speak to those who weren't on it, because they're going to ask, what to me? So we're going to do, do some more. I have, I have yeah. dreams of doing a one-drop album myself uh -huh. um, and things. So what's interesting to note is that it's the first album that I'm putting out by myself on my label. I did, oh. I did put out Ching's album, Chi Ching Ching, album about three years ago and he's streamed about 12 million since um that's a big step for ching oh yeah and and trying to put him on a platform where people can notice the talent that he has and for 12 million later streams later i feel accomplished with that what this is gonna do i don't know but uh you know big up to every artist who's on it uh sasko is on it 
as you said before, we big up all the artists on there, and I kind of forgot to big up him and Bugle, Soto Bless, um, people like Lugaman is on it, uh, you know, Ras Ajay. Uh, yeah, uh, a good, a good, solid piece of work. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I love it. I love it, Bridget. Appreciate it, bro. Family, sir. In all of this achievements, all of this work, mm -hmm. and, and hardly any time to stay home, two kids and a wife. Yeah. Give us your own whatever you want to tell us about fam. Um, you know, it's, it's always been an important thing to me, family. But when I was younger in the career, uh, I wasn't concentrating on that at all. Uh, you know, I wouldn't do anything different in life. Mm -hmm. But there's sometimes, you know, I wish that probably I'd done this earlier, but, but it would have been really hectic. Uh, you know, this, uh, the family for me has come at a time where it's, it's uh, you know, I'm a more established artist and, and I don't have, you know, the, 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 the serious, um, I can't say that the dedication has always been there, yes. but, but there's not so much time restraints then. I can't spend time with the family, especially during this last yeah. year. So I also have to big up my wife. She's an understanding person. You know, I've been on tour for more than six months out of the year for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So for the past four years, she's been, you know, doing a great job as a mom. Um, my son is, I'm a daughter. The both of them are, you know, the, the, my life. So yeah, yeah it is, it, it's definitely life changing. Um, how it affects my lyrics is songs like that. Uh, I'm having to, you know, tell my son and my daughter right from wrong, even if it's just no, you can't eat the cookie and put it on the couch like that, are you? You know what I mean? There's, there's right from wrong always in, in, my, in my mind to tell them now. And so I guess in the lyrics, it's coming out more in that respect. So it's an expansion of Sean Paul, I would say. Yeah, because the, the conscious side of me, of me has always been there, as I told you before, loving programs like, you know, Cutting Edge is something that I've always kind of tried to tune into. And so, you know, when I did songs like Give Me The Light, it kind of put me in that box. Mm -hmm. But now I'm expanding the, the artistry to show the different side of the lyrics that I do have. In your own time, in your own way too. Yeah, man. On your own label. Yeah. That's maturity, that's achievement. That's yeah. where we should all aspire to be. I mean, I seen Supercat do it in the early years, and he was always saying those things, you have to own your, your own music. And, um, you know, he's the father in the business to me. I look up to him style as, you know, the rude boy, the, the, the girls, them suave character, and same kind of thing I, I, I aspire to, towards. So when I saw him do it, and, you know, there's others who have done it too, I believe, Tony Rebel and people like that, uh, it's a step. I don't say every artist must try to do it at a young stage. It yes. takes money to do. Yes. So I have to build up my collateral and be able to, to, to do things like this. But yeah, it's a good feeling. Sean Paul, sir, thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate your coming and sharing so much with us, sir. Mm -hmm. We're proud of you. Give thanks and for we the are time. And we will continue to revel in the glory you've brought us. Appreciate it. All of us in Jamaica, you know, can be proud of a man like you. Because when all is said and done, Bridging, it's us you're doing it for. When we see you out there, man. we're looking at Jamaica. Yeah, Grand man. Jamaica. We are wave the flag the same way. I've been oh, yeah. doing it from swimming days. Um, you know, and representing the country. And so that is another great feeling that, that I, I kind of want the youths to kind of, to, to, to conceive in their own mind that I can actually represent this country with whatever I'm doing. We have great sports uh, people. We have great uh, music personalities, but also we have, we have huge business people that, that, that uh, make their mark on the world. And, um, you know, doctors and the best. I like to say that Jamaica is the biggest and the smallest things, the baddest and, and, and the best things. So we just need to start concentrating more on the positive stuff that we have been contributing to our own society and to the rest of the world. Wow. What a, what a way to, <laughs> to thank you again, sir, for mm. coming and sharing with us, Sean Paul, and what, uh, those words to leave with our audience and myself, sir. Thank you so much. And there you have it right here on our stage. International, legendary, superstar in dance hall, Sean Paul on our stage. Our conversation with Sean Paul continues on our YouTube channel. 
on stage TV. We'll be discussing his epic 20 year stay in the international mainstream, Beyonce, Jay Z, Rihanna, Grammy snob, and more. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.